What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star chestnut raids are set to start this weekend, so of course today I'll be going over all of the information that you need to know, as well as some good counters that me and my community came up with to take down these raids. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So per usual, let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at what exactly we're going to be going up against when we do hop into these raids. So besides being ugly, Chestnut is usually a grass and fighting type Pokemon. However, for this raid, it will have the rock terror type as well as be level 100 since this is a seven star raid. Ability wise, it will most likely have its hidden ability bulletproof since all of the past seven star raid bosses have had their hidden abilities, which means that Chestnut will be immune to bullet type moves. Now me personally, I had no idea what was classified as a bullet move, so I had to look it up. So if you're anything like me, let me go ahead and show you what exactly this thing's gonna be immune to. So one of the biggest ones here is going to be Acid Spray which is always a huge bring for me specifically for these seven star raids to lower the Pokemon's special defenses. It will also be immune to Aura Sphere. So if you were thinking about bringing Lucario, that's gonna be a big one for you. It's also immune to Barrage, Beak Blast, Bullet Seed, Egg Bomb, Electro Ball, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, Gyro Ball, Ice Ball, Magnet Bomb, Mist Ball, Mud Bomb, Octazooka, Pollen Puff, Pyro Ball, Rock Blast, Rock Wrecker, Searing Shot, Seed Bomb, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, and Zap Cannon. And you'll see why Acid Spray is a big hit right now, because if you look at its EVs, you can see that it has an HP stat of 88, an attack stat of 107, so it's definitely going to be a physical attacker, a defense stat of 122, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit this thing on the special defense side, because not only is it super weak in special attack with a stat of 74, but its special defense is at 75, and its speed is at 64. So he is going to be a slower Pokemon and he is going to be weak on the special defense and special attack side. So you could probably assume that he is going to be a physical attacker and will most likely have moves that are meant to kind of hinder special attackers since he does have that special defense stat of 75 or somehow beep himself up. And speaking of moves, the moves that I can definitely see them throwing on there are something like Stone Edge, which does have a high critical hit ratio, which those are always annoying in raids because they can definitely mess up your entire setup if you just get knocked out. I can also see them putting something like Wood Hammer on there, which does have a little bit of recoil, but considering that they have like copious amounts of HP, it probably wouldn't do too much anyway. And I can definitely see them throwing Earthquake on there, because if you're anything like me, you were thinking about bringing a Steel type Pokemon, which of course Earthquake would hit Steel types for super effective damage, which will also be a huge hindrance. And considering that it is normally a Grass Fighting type, I can definitely see them putting some type of Fighting type move on there, like Drain Punch, in case it does use some of these moves that do have recoil, it will be able to regain HP in that sense. I can also definitely see them putting something like close combat on there, crunch for some coverage, rock slide to maybe get some flinches, shadow claw if you're thinking about bringing Pokemon like Golden Go who are part ghost type or Annihilate even, sword dance to raise its attack, synthesis to regain HP, and what would be really scary is if they throw belly drum on there. Because if it does get something like drain punch that allows it to regain HP, if they set up like a belly drum at turn zero and then and drain punch to make up for the fact that they just cut their HP in half, you better believe that thing's gonna be hitting hard. And surprisingly, Chestnut does get quite a few coverage moves as well, like Thunder Punch, Shadow Claw, like I mentioned earlier, Dragon Claw, and it does also learn Sunny Day, which could be very useful if it is going to have Synthesis on it, since Synthesis is weather dependent. So I've definitely changed my mind in thinking that this might be an easy and straightforward raid, because considering this thing's learn set, we're definitely gonna have to think about quite a few variables. But now that we have a general idea of what we might be going up against in these raids, let's go ahead and see what me and my community put together for counters. So per usual, we went ahead and came up with one special attacker and one physical attacker, even though physical attackers are not ideal since it does have that pretty beefy defense stat and it does have a weaker special defense stat. But you can definitely still bring physical attackers, it's just gonna take a little bit more work and finessing. And of course, we also came up with two support Pokemon. So starting off with the special attacker, which is probably your most ideal choice, we went ahead and built out a Golden Go, which I feel like most people already have a Golden Go built out for raids since they are great raid Pokemon. So hopefully this should be a pretty easy build. If anything, just switch around the movesets if necessary. But Golden Go is a Steel and Ghost type Pokemon and mine does have the Steel Terra type. Since Steel type moves are gonna be able to hit Rock types for super effective damage. And because those Steel type moves do hit for super 
effective damage, I went ahead and threw an expert belt on there, which does boost the power of super effective moves by 20%, I think. You can also throw a life orb on there or a metal coat, which I believe metal coat also boosts steel type moves by 20%. But for its EVs, you're gonna wanna go ahead and max out its HP so we can make it live as long as possible. And of course, max out that special attack stat. And before we hop into the actual movesets, the thing that you do have to be aware of if you are bringing Golden Go, since it is a steel type Pokemon, is that if Chestnut does end up having Earthquake, that's gonna hit Golden Go for super effective damage, which means you're definitely gonna need some good supports if that is the case. But moveset wise, we went ahead and threw a Nasty Plot on there to of course set up, make it rain since that is going to be your steel type move of choice, and it is also Golden Go's signature attack. We also went ahead and threw Metal Sound on there since as you saw, earlier because of the bulletproof ability, you will not be able to use acid spray on chestnut. So in order to lower its already weak special defenses even more, metal sound will do the trick. And lastly, we have recover on there just in case we do take some big hits from chestnut. Hopefully it doesn't have earthquake, but if it does, I'm gonna cry. Just kidding. I'm not gonna cry, but it's gonna be real annoying. As an option for a physical attacker, we do have Annihilate, which is a fighting and ghost type Pokemon. Mine has the fighting type Terra, which fighting types are also going to hit rock types for super effective damage as well. And for that reason, I went ahead and threw an expert belt on this guy too. But like I said, you can also throw another item on there like a life orb. Annihilate is also a convenient pick since once again, I feel like most people probably already have an Annihilate built out, especially how you need it, which is full HP and full attack since Annihilate is another great raid Pokemon. So hopefully you already have one of these built out as well and you can just change the movesets. But like I said, you're gonna want full HP and full attack with an attacking nature. But once again, before we hop into its moveset, remember Remember that Chestnut does have quite a few coverage moves, so we are gonna have to look out for things like Shadow Claw, which will be super effective against Annihilate as well, and Shadow Claw does have a high critical hit ratio. But moveset wise, we went ahead and threw Rage Fist on there, Screech to lower its defense stat, Drain Punch to one, give you recovery, and two, of course, hit Chestnut for super effective damage, and Bulk Up to set up. So when it comes to the attacking Pokemon, it is a pretty straightforward strategy. And realistically, the thing that we're gonna have to wait and see is what the actual moveset on Chestnut is so we can see what Pokemon is going to fare the best. I'm really hoping that it doesn't have Earthquake so that we can bring Golden Go. But moving on to our support Pokemon, the first pick here is going to be Corviknight. It does have a Flying Terra, which obviously does not make sense. However, one, I didn't have enough Steel Terra shards to give it a Steel Terra. And two, ideally, you will not have to Terrestrialize your support Pokemon. But in case Corviknight is gonna be taking some big hits, I went ahead and threw a Citrus Berry on there just to help with that HP regain. And for its EVs, you're gonna wanna go ahead and max out HP and defense, as well as give it a defense nature. Moveset wise, we went ahead and threw Reflect on there since of course, Chestnut does appear to be a physical attacker. I don't see why they would give it special attacking moves because it doesn't even learn a lot of good special attacking moves. So Reflect to protect us against those hard hitting moves. We also went ahead and threw Fake Tears on there, which is of course going to lower Chestnut's special defense stat, Taunt in case it does use any type of setup moves and Screech to lower the defense stats if you do plan on bringing a physical attacker. And as our second option for a support Pokemon, we have one of my favorite Pokemon, which is Tinkaton. Tinkaton is a fairy and steel type Pokemon, and mine does have the steel Terra type as well. At least this one has the right Terra type. Once again, beware of any earthquakes because these steel types are gonna be taking super effective damage and they might not be ideal if it does end up having that. But just like Corviknight, in case it does take some big hits, I went ahead and threw a Citrus Berry on there as well to help with that HP regain. And EV wise, you are of course going to want to max out its HP and defense as well and give it a defense nature. And for its moveset, we went ahead and threw Gigaton Hammer on there, fake tears to once again, lower these special defense, helping hand to of course set up your designated attacker and reflect once again, to protect the team from some of those harder hitting physical attacks. But there you have it, that is some of the Pokemon that me and my community came up with in order for you to take down the Chestnut Raids. As always, leave a comment down below what you're thinking about building for these raids and if you have any improvements or suggestions for the Pokemon that we came up with, since we're all in this together. Yes, I did just quote High School Musical. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.